Oh, I would love some crystals right now or some Wendy's. I don't even like Wendy's, but I like cheese fries. Hey girl, hey, it's your girl C. Van Dotti back at you with another video. Everything's been grinding my gears this week and um, I just kind of want to unwind and indulge in some bullshit, so. Part of my goals for this year, or really my goals in life in general, but particularly for 2019, are to is to be less wasteful i've always been a person that donates or tries to give away clothes to um goodwill just because i don't see the point of throwing something away if somebody else can you know take it or use it but another thing i think is kind of important is to work on repurposing things because um at the end of the day i have so many clothes that i bought like over a year ago um that i haven't worn just because i like to buy things in advance but i just kind of think about all the things that i could probably just repurpose and to make into something else That'll probably be a little bit more effective and efficient um, use of my own resources and materials. And on top of that, I would like to save money and, you know, be able to update stuff, exercise my sense of creativity. I just have this bin of clothes and scrap material. And for a minute now, I've wanted to try painting on denim. Uh, okay, yeah. I have this vest lying around that was too big for me. Um, that I, you know, got off of somebody else, but I never actually got around to doing anything with it And I could never find an outfit to make it work with so I was like The chances of me wearing as is are pretty slim to none at this point So I might as well mess around with it a little bit and try my hands at painting on the back So I didn't feel like going to Michaels today, so I'm just gonna use acrylic paint I know a lot of people tend to use a medium to make your acrylic paint stick to the denim without cracking and you know having a nicer finish that will withstand the wear and tear um, from wearing and washing um, denim but I'm probably just gonna hang this up anyway I'm probably not actually gonna wear it so I'm just gonna flow with what I have on hands oh my god there's a rip in it look oh there's two. Oh, there's hella rips well thanks for letting me waste um insert however many minutes of your time today if you feel like being mean today, let me know how you thought I did down below in the comments. Let's try rating it on a scale of, uh, let's try Joey Fatone to JC Strauss's. So let's get started, let's go. Okay, so this video is relatively straightforward, so I'm not really gonna do much of a voiceover. Um, just wanted to point out that I decided to paint the cover of Static Shock Rebirth of the Pool um, from 1993. I believe it was one of the alternate covers while Static was still under Milestone Media. So yeah, this is what I'm referencing and decided to put my own spin on. So yeah, enjoy.
So here we are with the finished jacket. It took me about four and a half hours, I believe, to complete. So not too shabby. So yeah, here's a close up. I decided not to paint the interior of the glasses because I just like the way the denim looks filling in that value. So um, I don't know, that was a weird artistic choice of mine. But other than that, this is where we're at. And like I said before, let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, bye. I didn't even do it. I can't, I can't do it right.